Hi, and welcome to this week's Friday Focus. I want to tell you something that just might bend your mind a little bit. It just might hurt your head, but stay with me. Did you know that your thoughts are not facts? So those sentences that you hear in your head, they're not actually facts in the world. And I just want you to consider for a minute, if you didn't believe those thoughts and those sentences, how differently you might feel. For example, I have a thought that appears in my head multiple times a day that says, I'm not clever enough. And there was a time when I believed that thought to be true. I also used to think that chocolate would make me feel better. Oh, I'll have a little bit of chocolate, it's a treat. That thought appeared in my head and I just took it as a fact. So when we don't question our thoughts, when we don't look at what we're thinking, we are being guided by our brain's opinion of something without even consciously deciding if that's what we want to be true or not. So even though thoughts and sentences appear in your head, doesn't mean to say that they're true, that they're facts in the world. So my thought of I'm not clever enough, it's not even, it's not even true because I can find loads of evidence to prove multiple times where I figured stuff out. And yes, I could look in the past and I could find evidence to prove where I wasn't clever enough. School and being able to prove my ability in a certain academic way. But that doesn't mean to say that I'm not clever. And when I used to believe that thought, I wouldn't try anything new. I wouldn't go out of my comfort zone. I would stay safe. I wouldn't go for job promotions. I wouldn't ask for job pay rises. And when I realised that actually that might not be true, I've got certified as a life coach. I've set up my own business. I'm now figuring out marketing and selling and running a business and the finances. But if I believed that thought, I'm not clever enough to be true, I wouldn't be doing all, any of that for myself. I would be staying safe. Same with sugar. It wasn't until I questioned that thought, it'll make me feel better. It's a treat was one of, a big one for me. It's a treat. Really? It actually makes me feel sick. I put on weight. I get irritable. That is not a treat. <laughs> that is not making me feel better. But because I never questioned those thoughts, I just, I was just being guided unconsciously by my brain's interpretation, my brain's opinion. So what are you thinking about yourself or about anything? Do you think I'm an overthinker? I worry too much. I, I'm not good enough. Like what, what are you thinking? that you then believe to be true. And what fascinates me so much with a lot of this work is because we think it's a fact, we don't even see it. We don't even see those thoughts. We don't even recognize that or hear the sounds in our head. They're just happening to us. And because they've 
because we've allowed them to do that unmanaged for so long, we're now completely being guided by a bunch of lies. Now, I'm not saying that you shouldn't do that. Of course, if you've got the results in your life that you want, brilliant. It's obviously working for you. But if you're worried and stressed out and eating and drinking stuff that you don't want to eat and drink really because it makes you feel crap, well, that's all optional. So when you come and talk to someone like me, when you come and talk to a life coach or when you talk to your friends and family, you can very clearly see their thoughts. But when you're in your head, you can't see your own thoughts. It's kind of like being in a jam jar and trying to read the writing on the outside. Because you're in the jar, you don't see the writing on the outside. You can't see the writing. You can see everybody else's writing, but not your own. So when you speak to a life coach, when you speak to me, I have a very neutral, very non-judgmental, objective space for you to empty out everything that's in your head without emotion. And then you get to consciously decide, is that what I want to believe? Because your brain is making it up anyway. Why not make something up that makes you feel a bit better? Why not start saying to yourself, actually, I am quite clever. Actually, that chocolate is not going to make me feel better. It is not a treat. Your brain hurts for a bit, <laughs> called cognitive dissonance. You've got one belief that's so ingrained and you're trying on another one. Your brain doesn't like it. I'm not saying this is comfortable. But if you're experiencing your life in a way that you currently don't want to be experiencing it, I'm giving you the opportunity to change all of that. And I would love to help you. I can help you. So just start thinking about your thoughts without judgment, without criticism, with just compassionate curiosity and fascination. Just sit there for a few minutes and go, okay, what is going on in my brain? What is my brain telling me right now? Oh, just as if you were talking to a friend, tell me everything. Brain, <laughs> tell me all the things. And then you get to decide, do I want to believe any of that? Because most of it is not going to be true. Especially if you're thinking about the future. No one knows what's going to happen in the future. So just try it. Just think about your thinking. It's the most amazing superpower we have as humans. We get to think about our thoughts. Then we get to decide... Do those thoughts help me? Are they making me feel the way I want to feel? Am I experiencing this situation how I want to experience it? And if you're not, then let's change it. I can't wait to meet you and help you. My name is Nikki Bevan and I'm the life coach for stressed out working mums who want to get control of their sugar cravings and just get control of their life. I can't wait to meet you. Bye.